Yes, Deepali. So, so we use all these parameters that you explained, and are there any indicators that audiences you know, buying what you're saying, or they're able to clearly comprehend what you're talking about. So are there any indicators that while talking, I can guess that what I'm doing is, you know, bought well by the audience? That's a two-part answer for me. Number one is yes, there are indicators. Kaya's nodding at me right now. I know he's listening, yeah. You know, Nazia's kind of going like this, she's listening, but then she smiles when I look at her, you know, and this is all okay, right? So yes, you can look at the body language, you can see people nodding, and in general, you can kind of um, encourage it, again, with the way you did, with the hands, with the eyebrows, with the way that you move, with the connecting to all the different people in the audience. So by looking at them, you make them look back at you, and you keep their attention and engaged. And in general, they'll do this. But then the other part to that question is, how can I know if they're buying in? You can't. You have to trust that they are. Because if you worry too much during the speech, you'll never make it through. You know what I mean? If I'm up here and I'm looking at you guys and I'm talking, what do I want out of today? What do you think is my objective coming here today? For us to be able to speak based on the learnings that we had. Today. Yeah, I, I want you to like it. I want you to get value of it. I want you to find it entertaining. I want to keep your attention. I don't want you to be bored. You know, and I want you, as you said, to be able to, to do the learnings later. So those are my objectives. But if I look over and see Nazia, who is listening very intently, but maybe I don't know Nazia so well, and if you would just stay exactly as you are, Nazia, don't move. <laughs> so Nazia's arms are like this. And remember I told you before that maybe this says uh, closed off communication. If I don't know Nazia, I may think that she doesn't like what I'm saying. Yeah. She's like, it's just the opposite. exactly, exactly. <laughs> so that's my point is you can't always know from people's body language. Sometimes people also will just be nice, especially Canadians. They'll go, uh-huh, yeah, I have no idea what the fuck you're saying. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you know? It, Canadians are, are too polite to, to always understand what they're thinking from their body language. So what you have to do is do the work before you get on stage or before you start pitching to be as clear as you possibly can. Don't try to improvise too much, you know, because it, it can get you, you just have to go, how do I say this as clear as possible? Sometimes you'll take indicators, somebody's going, and then you can explain, right? But in general, I don't want you to worry too much about the audience. Do as much as you can, and then later they'll tell you, did you understand? No, I didn't understand, or what was that part? But you kind of have to trust the process, yeah? I know that's a kind of cliche, trust the process, but it's really, really important when you're public speaking or communicating. Trust that you've thought about this enough when you're pitching. Trust that you've done the story work. Trust that you've rehearsed enough at home, and you'll just feel so much better. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay. Any other questions? 